So you can't be a backyard metal caster without having some green sand to make molds from. At least that's what I'm told. Um, there's a lot of videos online on how to make it with play sand and bentonite clay, which is the main ingredient in fragrance-free kitty litter. What you do is you grind it up and then you add it to this, like 10 to 1. And then uh, you put it in here and you add some water and if you can clump it together and break it without it all crumbling up, then you have green sand. I decided instead of grinding up kitty litter and trying to sift clay sand, I'm going to go to our local pottery supply store in Portland, Oregon area here. I don't live in Oregon, but um, that's my closest city. And uh, I bought, um, I think it's 325 mesh bentonite. It's very powdery. And then I bought what's called uh, doll sand. Um, it is, I believe, either 60 or 80 mesh sand. It's very fine. Um, this is, it, it, it looks like a very fine table salt and it is sifted and I'm gonna add uh, I think it's I think it's either 10 to 1 or 12 to 1 um, 12 percent of it I'm gonna add bentonite by weight okay so I'm going to uh, put this cup on and then turn on the, the scale and then that should bring it to zero so it's not incorporating the weight of this cup. Okay, I'm gonna be using grams even though I'm in the United States. Um, it, I think it'll translate pretty well because a lot of people that get into this end up learning some metric. So I'm going with grams and kilograms. Um, I'm going to want to add about 12% by weight of whatever the sand is with bentonite clay. Okay, so I'm gonna cut open this sand. It's very powder-like, very fine mesh. I'm just gonna basically just, I'm planning on using most of it, so I'm gonna just start scooping it out. It's just pouring out of here. All right. So I have 642 grams in this cup. I think I want to go about 500. <laughs> we'll go 500. Take a little bit out. A little bit more out. That's pretty good. Dump that in. Now we'll do another 500. I want to get about two kilograms worth. And then we'll go with, I guess what would be 240 grams of bentonite clay. Yeah, it's pretty, almost dead even. <laughs> okay. So there's one kilogram in there. Okay, so I have three kilograms, which is six of these cups, 500 gram cups um, poured into here. So I am going to be doing 12% of that in bentonite clay. So if you buy bentonite clay at a pottery supply place, this is what it looks like. You don't have to buy a thrift store blender and try to grind up kitty litter. Um, it ends up being more expensive. I think this is a 50 pound bag for 20 bucks. And kitty litter in the, in the department store will be about $4. So, 
Um, I decided to opt for the already powdered stuff and I'm just gonna add 360 grams of this to make 12% of the uh, three kilograms of sand. All right, 366 grams, that's fine. I'm gonna add that to the mix here. And then I'm gonna stir this all up and kinda stir it um, probably with a, a stick or something so I can kinda grind it all in. And then I'm gonna add water to it. When you're uh, pouring stuff like powdered clay and sand, dust comes up, cause this is pure silica. There's a lung, problem you can get called silicosis and it comes from having like kind of inhaling things like silica or you know clay granules um, in the dust that forms around it I'm I'm not agitating it quite as much but um, I I should be wearing a respirator and I advise people to, to wear a respirator when you're doing this or mixing concrete or any of that because once you get that stuff gets in your in your uh, lungs you can't get it out at least not that I know of um, you can't just stick your uh, shop back down your lungs and get it out of there so just be careful and wear a respirator whenever you can when you're dealing with this kind of stuff or when you're working with melding metals and you know like what I'm doing so I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just kind of Mixing this up, trying to get all the granules of sand and clay mixed together as best as I can. This is so fine. I'm really looking forward to using this because I think it's going to be really great. So next thing I'm going to be doing is just spraying it down with um, a mist of water and then mixing it and then spraying it down with a mist of water until it gets to the right consistency that I want. Gonna just kind of spray this down and it's gonna it's quite a procedure so get the top wet pretty wet and just be prepared to do this multiple multiple times I doubled my batch of green sand and uh, I can touch it now without it sticking all over my hands um, when I squeeze it it retains its shape and I can break it fairly cleanly Sorry, it's hard to do with with one hand here, but then I can uh, just kind of snap it, and it has like a a line to it, break line, instead of just crumbling into little bits. When I do that, it kind of gets sticks to my hand, so I might not have the recipe absolutely right, but I think I'm getting the feel for it.